You know, the, the Lord has really laid it on my heart to, to give this warning to the rapture watching crowd. Because the Lord has put on my heart and, and has told me well over, well over 90% of those who consider themselves part of the rapture watching community. Those who are watching and also those who are, are teaching and sharing on the rapture. That they are rejecting the word. They reject faith, holiness, and repentance. They reject the sound doctrine. But yet they are watching for the rapture. They're watching for the Lord's return. While at the same time, they refuse to hear the meat of the word. They are a signs only crowd. Many of them, well over 90% of them are a signs only bunch. Many of these teachers who are sharing the scriptures, they only share the signs scriptures. They only share the rapture scriptures, the end time scriptures, and that's it. They refuse the meat of the word. They refuse faith, holiness, and repentance. They won't touch it with a 10-foot pole. They avoid faith, holiness, and repentance like the plague. They refuse to teach on it. There are many teachers out here today that all they teach on is, is the dream or a vision that the Lord has given them. The Lord has given me this dream. And over and over they go regularly sharing on the, their dreams that they have that they have gotten. And then the the flocking cheerleaders, they run to these messages that are void of the scriptures, that are that are anemic of the truth. They lack the truth. They lack the word of God. It is it is teachings that are spoken with the words of man and void of the words of God, void of the truth, void of the written word of God. Yes, I believe in dreams and visions, but they must be backed up with God's truth, God's word. God will not go against his word. He will not give you a dream or a vision that goes against his word. And so many today, today they have just forsake the scriptures for their dreams. They have, they have just dumped the scriptures and just shared dreams. And then we have many others today who all they share on is the rapture. That's it. The rapture, the rapture, the rapture. And they totally reject the message of repentance and faith and holiness. See, I want to get into this tonight because the Lord has really given me this word to speak that well, well, well over 90% of the rapture watchers, when the rapture takes place, if they do not repent, they will be left behind. Why? Because they despise the word. The followers and the teachers. They both despising the word of God, the teachers refusing to share God's word. They share a watered down message. They share a Bible light message. They water the message down. They make it soft like Charmin. A soft message. And then those who hear these messages, you know, if. These individuals, us as followers of Christ, if we get into the scriptures for ourselves, and 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 have a personal relationship with the Lord, then when we hear these watered down messages, the Holy Spirit will would uh, give us that red flag, would give us that alert that this is a, a masquerading minister of Christ. This is a false apostle, false teachers. And the Holy Spirit would direct us not to listen to that anymore. You know, many past times I've had individuals say, Marcus, why don't you name these individuals? Here's the reason why. The Lord has given me uh, the word to, to, to speak and, and to share his truth. That way, when you share the truth, then the individual will not have that root of idolatry in their life anymore because they will turn their lives over to Christ. It's the Holy Spirit's job. To alert the individual, my job is to deliver the message. 
because I can point out individuals on YouTube all day long who are sharing falsely that the Lord has, 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 has alerted me to that are sharing false messages. And, and I can see that just through common sense by looking at the word. You know, it, this, this is not rocket science here. I could point these individuals out, but you know what? If, if you don't get into the word of God for yourself, if you are an individual who constantly is listening to false teachers and you don't change the root problem, which is you yourself needing to get into the word of God, get on your knees and seek the face of God, then you'll just go find another false teacher to listen to. So it's important that we learn how to hear from the Lord. And that's my job here is to share the truth with you, to teach and to show you, you know what? Through the scriptures, we can learn how to hear from the Lord. We can learn how to hear the voice of the Lord, to have that uh, discernment and direction, that understanding and revelation from the scriptures. If we'll take the time to study and hear from the Lord and depart these crowds, these flocking crowds, these flocking cheerleaders who foam at the mouth over their false teachers. And many of this is happening right here on YouTube. It's part of the great predicted falling away that was spoken of in the scriptures. Many places in the scriptures, this was spoken. Now, I'm going to take you to Second uh, Second uh, Thessalonians <clears throat> chapter 2, verse 3. Let no one deceive or beguile you in any way. And that word beguile means to delight or charm, to pass time pleasantly, to deprive of the truth. And, and see, many are doing this today. Many of these teachers here on YouTube, they are more concerned about their own popularity. They charm you. They charm. They delight. They have cute smiles. They could be on a Tide commercial and cause the sales of Tide to go up. But yet they don't speak the truth. They have no backbone. They have no wherewithal to stand forth and speak the truth because they're cowards. So they come on with cute smiles. They come on with gel in their hair. They, they, they have uh, charisma. They have great speech and they make you feel good. They water down the truth. See, these are the deluding and seducing spirits spoken of in 1 Timothy 4.1. Jesus gave us that same warning in Matthew 24. Take heed. See, it was the very first warning sign that Jesus gave after the disciples asked the Lord. Tell us what shall be the sign. I encourage you to look that up. Right now, I mean, right now, push pause and, and look this up. It's Matthew 24, verses 4 and 5. We must learn to open the scriptures for ourselves. I encourage you, don't even follow me. Don't make a habit of following individuals. Always fact check. Always go to the scriptures and check what you're being taught. See, when we go to the throne, uh, 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 when we go to the throne, it, it won't be the individuals. It'll just be us and Jesus. It'll be you and Jesus. It'll be a one-on-one. -on -one. We won't be able to blame other individuals. The Lord's going to ask you, what did you do with my word? He's not going to ask you what you did with your favorite teacher. He's going to ask you, what did you do with his word that he left? Hello? Take heed that no one deceive you, no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name saying that I am Christ. Now notice that the disciples actually asked Jesus, what shall be the sign? Now, Jesus did give multiple signs, but they asked him what would be the sign of his coming and the end of the age. And Jesus very first warning sign was deception. Deception. I want to take you to, uh, you know, and, and so many today are not heeding that warning. It's sad to see. The rapture watching crowd, those who are professing the name of Christ claiming that they're waiting on the Lord's return, but yet they're rejecting. This is well over 90% here. Not all, but well over. It's the majority. It's, it's the mass majority of the rapture watchers today. They're despisers of the word of God. 
they refuse to hear the, 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 the word of God taught. All they want to hear is the end times verses only. The end times scriptures, the rapture scriptures, the sign scriptures, and that's it. And they reject the rest of the truth. And again, this is well over 90% of the rapture watching crowd today. And in its present state, when the rapture takes place, they will be left behind. And see, this is a warning that the Lord has given me to deliver that it's time to depart these crowds because we are running out of time quickly. We are fast approaching the day of the rapture. Today is the day to repent from this idolatry. Today is the day to repent from these flocking crowds who have watered down the truth. These flocking crowds that see these flocking crowds that flock to teachers that just share their dreams and their visions. And that's it. These flocking crowds that flock to teachers who only talk about the rapture, every message rapture, this and rapture that. But they forsake the rest of the scriptures. They, they forsake faith, holiness, and repentance, which is the key to our walk. Hello? Let me continue on here. Second Corinthians chapter 11. I've heard so many times people say that we're all, we're all called to unity. We're called to fellowship, all of us. We're all on the same team. Well, this is a lie. That is a lie. Let me take you to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. See, the scripture tells us in, in Ephesians 4, chapter 4, that we're called to unity in the faith, unity in the truth. And we know that God's word is the truth. So we just don't get together and form a crowd and then we call that fellowshipping. No, we must fellowship in God's word, in his truth to reprove, rebuke, and exhort one another in the Lord's truth. You know, many are looking for the rapture today. I'll make this one more point before I read here in 2 Corinthians. Many are simply looking for the rapture simply because they're going through a storm and they want it to be over with. Others, they just don't want to deal with life anymore. But Jesus, you know, he asked the question in Luke 18, 8. He says, when the son of man returns, Shall he find faith on the earth? In other words, is he going to find you walking in faith and trusting his word and, 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 and speaking the, the living word of God out of your mouth? Is he going to find you in that posture, in that position? Is he going to find your house upon the rock? Trusting in Jesus, trusting in his word, whether you're going through the fire, the valley, the river, the midnight hour. Hello, the storm. No matter where where he finds you, is he going to find you standing on his word, trusting in him, calling on the name of Jesus, standing firm against the devil because we know that the enemy is under our feet? Is he going to find you standing firm? Standing firm and speaking God's word to, the, to Satan's face, saying, get thee behind me. See, the scripture tells us in many places as blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Or is he going to find you in the run position? Running and crying and whining for the rapture to come take, take, take you away. See, there's no armor on our backside. And you've heard me say many times that, you know, Esther has made that point clear many times that there's no armor on our backside. We shouldn't be running from the enemy. We should be standing strong in God's word. We should be crying, Jesus, come take me out of here. No, we should be standing in faith on his word because the Lord is the great I am. He's everything we need right now here and today. We don't have to wait till the rapture to receive an answer from the Lord. No, we can seek the face of Jesus right now. We can keep asking, knocking and seeking and the door will be open. He promised us that. He promised us in 2 Corinthians 1.20. That all the promises of God are yes in him and amen in him to the glory of God. Hello. Don't fall for this lie of, me, of many of these rapture teachers who are nothing more than cowards. Nothing more than 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 people who just love their popularity because they know that when they teach a rapture message or a dream or vision message that they know they're going to get a huge view count because that people don't want to hear the word spoken. They know that. 
They're in it for themselves. They're in it for their self-glory. Today is the day to turn from this idolatry because the rapture is fast approaching us. And if we don't, and, and let me say it like this. If you don't turn from this idolatry, you will be left. I'll say it again. You will be left. And this is the, the, the message that the Lord has given me to deliver. You will be left. Time is running out quickly. You will be left and you will go through the tribulation. Hello? It's time to wake up to this truth today. I want to take you to 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, verse 12. <clears throat> but what I do, I will continue to do. For I am to determined to maintain this independence in order to cut off the claim of those who would like to find an occasion and incentive to claim that they to claim that in their boasted mission they work on the same terms that we do. See, they're trying to say they're on the same team. We're all on the same team. Well, we know we're not all on the same team. See, the Lord clearly spoke uh, about the wheat and the tares, the goat and the sheep. The wolves in sheep's clothing, the, the enemy masquerading as an angel of light and that he has apostles masquerading as ministers of Christ. They're false apostles. And this is what I'm coming up to here. Verse 13, for such men are false apostles, spurious, counterfeits, deceitful workmen masquerading as apostles, special messengers of Christ, the Messiah. And it is no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. So it is not surprising if his servants also masquerade as ministers of righteousness, but their end will correspond with their deeds. See, if the devil comes masquerading as an angel of light, what makes you think he won't come masquerading as a rapture watcher? Jesus is coming. Dream, vision, rapture is on the way. But yet there's something missing in the message. Faith, holiness, repentance. There's something missing in the message. Uh, it's watered down and diluted uh, and void of the scriptures being spoken, void of the word. A lot of dreams, a lot of interpretations in these messages. A lot of signs only, a lot of foaming at the mouth. Jesus said in Matthew 16, 4, that a, a perverse and adulterous generation craves a sign. And see, many of these false apostles and false teachers, they are they are waving the fan. They are waving the, the they're, they're fanning the flame and getting folks foaming at the mouth over signs and getting them distracted and getting their eyes off of Jesus. And that's how the enemy works. The enemy gets you so focused on what's going on on one hand. So you totally uh, ignore what's going on in the other. That's the way the enemy works. The enemy is real subtle. He's 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 a, he's subtle. That that he you know he even spoke that in Genesis he, that he was the most subtle of creatures. Hello. But see, the devil doesn't come knocking at your door in a red suit and a and with and a pitchfork in his hand. No, he shows up as a rapture watcher. He infiltrates the crowd. He infiltrates the community and becomes one of them. But then he then he tweaks the message. He starts taking things away. He starts uh, getting your focus off on other things. He's subtle. Hello. And many are being duped today because they themselves, many of these followers, which I call the the flocking cheerleaders. Because they're they're cheering on their teacher without opening up the scriptures for themselves. Thus they get deceived. I'm gonna take you also to 2 Timothy 4, 3, uh, 4 verses 3 and 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. I'm not gonna to touch on it too much. Because if you watch me for any time, you you know I share this this verse a lot because this, this is actually it 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 details what's really going on right now here today. All around us. I'll read this verse out of the Amplified Version here. <clears throat> Second Timothy chapter 4. Verse 3. 
for the time is coming and we know that time is already here. We know the predicted great falling away is here. We are seeing it right now. We know that the masquerading ministers of Christ, they're all around us. Jesus said to take heed that no man deceive you. See, this is the reason why Jesus gave that as the first warning, because the time is near. They asked him, what will be the sign of your coming? Jesus' first answer of that sign was deception. We see it all around us today. We see these deluding, seducing spirits. See, the the Holy Spirit distinctly and expressly declared in 1 Timothy 4, 1, that in latter times, do you believe that we're in the last days? Then look around that in latter times, that some would depart from the faith, giving attention to deluding and seducing uh, spirits and doctrines of devils. Hello, did you hear that? Doctrines of devils. And when we don't get in the scriptures for ourselves, we set ourselves up to be duped and deceived. Today is the day to repent from this folly, from this foolishness, from this nonsense. And many of it, like I said, the enemy, he, he is so subtle that he has made himself a rapture watcher. And well over 90 percent of the rapture watchers are being deceived. Why? Because they don't open the scriptures up for themselves. And they don't realize that these teachers who don't teach the scripture, that they are not from God. Now, I know this message that I'm sharing tonight will not be received by very many at all. But I know there's a few who are going to get this. They're, they're going to look these scriptures up. They're going to seek the Lord. They're going to get on their knees and they're going to cry out to the Lord. And they're going to hear from him. But the masses and the majority will laugh, mock, and scoff. And they will continue on full steam ahead. I, I, I would say don't let that be you. Because time is is speedily running out. For the time is coming when people will not tolerate, endure sound, wholesome instruction. I don't want it. Don't, don't give me instruction. Don't teach me the meat of the word. Don't teach me the word of God. Just give me a dream. Just give me a vision. Just tell me that the rapture is on the way. Give me another rapture message. Give me another rapture burger recipe. Sell me another coffee cup. How about another rapture chart? Give me another cute smile. Just like Ken on Barbie. See, the devil will give you cute smiles all the way to the pits of hell. And many rapture watchers are on their way to the pits of hell. Sadly, because they despise the word of God. For the time is coming when people will not tolerate endure sound, wholesome instruction, but having itching ears for something pleasing and gratifying. Many of these rapture watchers, this is describing them today. And, and this does not just, uh, you know, this also includes other groups, not just the rapture watchers. Hello? Pleasing and, and some, for something pleasing and gratifying, they will gather to themselves one teacher after another to a considerable number. Chosen to satisfy their own liking and to foster the errors they hold. Verse 4 and will turn aside from hearing the truth and wander off into myths and man made fictions. See, again, we're seeing this today. You know, so many false teachers have risen up and people just receive them open arms. You know, these false prophets and false teachers, some of them come on with no t shirts. Others have their breasts propped up in the camera view. Uh, you know, others are just giving visions and dreams all the time. Irby, you go through their upload feed and it's dream this, dream that, dream, dream, dream. And other teachers, it's rapture this and rapture that and rapture, rapture, rapture. But where is the meat? Where is the meat of the word? It's all cotton candy messages for the most part. Where is the meat? Where is the meat of the word? Where is the truth? You know, Revelation 3.19, Jesus said, be zealous and repent. Be excited about repentance. Be excited about dropping your ways and turning to the ways of God. Be excited and on fire about that. Don't have a bad attitude about repentance. Don't have a bad attitude about change. Don't have a bad attitude about seeking my face. The very next verse in Revelation chapter 3, it's verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door 
and I knock. Are you going to let them in? Are you going to let Jesus in? Are you going to take up your cross and follow after him? Jesus said that my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. A voice of another, they will not follow. Are you going to say I've had enough of following these false voices? I'm going to open up my Bible. I'm going to open up the scriptures and learn the word and have an intimate relationship with my Lord and Savior. Is that going to be you today? Or are you going to say I'm content and happy and pleased with my false teachers? You know, I think about uh, Brother Steve at RaptureWatch.net back in 2009, how he took a stand against these false teachers. And back then I, I thought, what is this individual's problem? What is his problem? You know, it took me a couple of years to really see the hand of the Lord working through him. He stood up with boldness. He had backbone. He stood against the, what was popular. He stood against, uh, uh, the, he went against the flow. He rocked the boat for Christ. He did it for Christ. He, sh he shined the light of Christ. You know, many was shouting him down for that. But as I look back now, I'm thankful for a brother in Christ, a true brother in Christ who stood up regardless of all the naysayers and spoke the truth. You know, and I know again today that many will not receive this message. Many will. Many are so in love with their false teachings and false teachers that they will totally reject this message. But again, there are those few that I know are going to hear. It. They're going to take this to heart. They're going to look. They're going to research the scriptures. They're going to search their hearts. They're going to read the word and know that when they read the word, the word will read them. And they're going to hear the voice of the Lord and the Holy Spirit. And they're going to turn and change directions. Today is that day. Because time is truly running short. Well, I just pray that the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be with you all and may the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you. Until next time, God bless you and good night.